the shoulder is easily the most complicated joint in the body. No doubt about it. It can go in virtually every direction. Above your head, behind your back, across your body. 365 degrees. It's controlled by a number of tendons, but it's a very complicated ball and socket. And at times that cartilage surface on the inside, kind of like the Teflon inside the joint, can break down. And you can get little injuries in the cartilage, much like a pothole in the road. And it can cause a lot of pain. And eventually that surface can start to break down, leading to arthritis. And you'll see people lose their range of motion. They can't reach as far. They put their coat on and it causes pain. They can't reach as high up when they're trying to hang up their coat. And you'll see that on an x-ray, that joint surface in the inside starts to break down. What do you do about it? Occasionally, people require surgery. Sometimes they respond to doing cortisone injections. But one of the first things we like to do is confirm in a combination of x-ray findings, MRI findings, and injection. We'll go in and do a diagnostic injection to confirm that that is indeed the problem. So we'll go under ultrasound guidance and put a needle into the joint, anesthetize the skin and the site. It doesn't hurt very much. Put anesthetic on the inside and see how they feel immediately. If they feel better right away and their range of motion is better, it confirms that's the right spot. You go through the usual treatment phase, perhaps physical therapy, but what if you fail? In those events, we'll often put in concentrated platelets, the cells that normally clot your blood but are full of stimulants and growth factors, or we put in stem cells, the cells that the guys who can do just about anything and help to repair the cartilage surface, much like filling a pothole in the road. It's not quite like resurfacing the road, but we all know that if you fill the potholes, it's a lot smoother drive.